Hello everyone, this is the very last lecture of the course VLSI design. In this lecture, we will be learning, we will be seeing an example of several uh, problems on pattern recognition using finite state machines. We will be actually learning how we can develop the state diagrams so that we can implement it using, uh, using very log or any other codes. For the first problem of pattern recognition, let us uh, let us consider a, uh, the following problem. We have to derive the state diagram for an FSM for input W and output Z. The machine has to generate Z is equal to one when we have when the consecutive four consecutive patterns are either one zero zero one or one 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 one. In all the other cases, Z is equal to zero. That means that that means that. Uh, uh, this is a this is a mealy machine. Why is it a mealy machine? Because it is stated four consecutive values. That is, as soon as the fourth value becomes one, the output can become one. For example, here also we can see one, 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 one. As soon as the fourth value became one, Z is became one. So this is a mealy machine. Another important term is overlapping input patterns are allowed. What is overlapping input pattern? This one is generated because the one, 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 one present here. And this one is generated because of 1001 present here. The one present here, this one is overlapping for both this and this. So, a single one or a sing, uh, or single or multiple digits can actually, uh, again, we can see that here these four ones create this one and this four ones creates this one in the output. As a result, these three ones are overlapping. So, the same digits in the input or same sequence in the input can affect the output multiple times. So this is called overlapping input patterns are allowed. So an easy way to go about this is uh, at first we take our initial stage is 0 or the reset stage. Then we move along one direction that is the first pattern is 1001. So uh, w uh, W is equal to 1. Uh, w is equal to 1 will take us to the next step. Uh, S1. Then 1001. So W is equal to 0 will take us to the next stage S2. W is equal to 0 take, will take us to the next stage S3. W is equal to 1 will take us to the next stage S4. So the pattern at S4 is pattern here is 1, here is uh, previous patterns are 1, 0, here previous patterns are 1, 0, 0, here the previous patterns are 1, 0, 0, 1. So in S4, we get the four preceding pa uh, four patterns, four consecutive patterns are 1, 0, 0, 1. So when present state is equal to S4, Z will become 1. Now again, uh, we have another pattern 1, 1, 1, 1. Let us move in that direction from this set. If W is equal to 1, we reach S1. From there, if W is equal to 1, we reach S5 because we have S4 till here and till here. So we move to S5. Then W, uh, me for a bit. w is equal to 1 will take us to S6. Here the pattern was 1. Here the pattern is 1, 1. Here the pattern is 1, 1, 1. And W is equal to 1 will take us to S7. S7, the pattern is 1, 1, 1, 1. So, if present state is equal to S7, then again Z is equal to 1. So, Z is 1 in 1 if present states are either S4 or S7. In all the other states, Z is equal to 0. Now, we have already, we have defined the forward path. That is path of 1, 0, 0, 1 or 1, 1, 1, 1. The other paths still needs to be under consideration. For every state, input can be either 1 or 0 and based on that input, uh, if we move to change the state uh, and in which states do we move to will depend. So in S0, we know what happens if W is equal to 1, but what happens with the, if W is equal to 0? In none of the patterns, we have 0 in the preceding value. So W is equal to 0, we'll keep it uh, keep it in as uh, state zero as uh, state zero. In case of state one, W is equal to zero takes it to state two. W is equal to one states takes it to state five. So both its cases are completed. In case of state two, W is equal to zero takes it to state 
3. But the, what does w is equal to 1, 2? In case of state 2, in case of state 2, if w is equal to 1, the pattern becomes 101. Since the pattern uh, breaks and it is neither 1001 or 1111, we can actually connect it to S0. But if we do that, overlapping patterns will not be calculated, considered. So, since we need to consider overlapping patterns, what we do, we need to think how many digits of this sequence can we salvage. Can we salvage all the three digits 101? No, we cannot because none of the patterns has 101 as starting. Then the most recent two, 01, can we sal salvage these two bits? No, we cannot because none of the patterns are 01 at the beginning. So, the most recent one, that is 1, can we salvage this one? Yes, we can salvage this one because both of the pattern has 1 at the beginning. So, if from S2, is the, if W is equal to 1, we move to S1. Then from S3, if W is equal to 1, we get 1001 and we move to S4. But if W is equal to 0, is equal to 0 in case of S3, then the pattern becomes 1000. So, can we salvage 1000? No. Can we salvage the most recent 000? No. Can we salvage the most recent 00? No. Can we salvage just a single 0? No. In, so, if W is equal to 0 in stage 3, we cannot use any of those. We cannot use any of the pattern. As a result, we move directly to S3 when W is equal to 0. And in case when we are in stage 4, we have 1001. If we have a 0 afterwards, uh, we can salvage this 1 0, the most recent 2 bits, which is in S2. So we can move to S2 if W is equal to 0. Again, if we have 1001, if the next is input is 1, we can salvage the 1 1 over here, which is a stage 5. So if W is equal to 1, we move to state 5. Now from state 5, if w is equal to 1, we get to state 6. But if w is equal to 0, we have the pattern 110. The pattern 110 can take us to the 10. We can salvage 10 out of it. So from state 5, we get w is equal to 0 will take us to state 2. Again from state 6, w is equal to 1 takes us to state 7. But w is equal to 0, 1110. We can salvage the one zero out of it, and it will take us to uh, it will take us to state two. So w is equal to zero will take us to state two. Again, in the state seven, we have one 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 available. So if we put another one after it, again we have four consecutive ones. So w is equal to one will keep it in state seven, and if we have after 1111, one, 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 if we have one zero, another 0, we have 1 0, which can be salvaged again. So we move to state 2 if w is equal to 0. So for all the states, we have considered the state it will move towards if w is equal to 0 or if w is equal to 1. So if we write a code or build a circuit that, uh, that uses or that uh, uh, that actually demonstrate this this uh, <clears throat> this state diagram then we'll be able to design a circuit that will give output is equal to 1 when the inputs are either 1001 and 1111 uh, it may be it may be thought that why is this required uh, this is required in case of say suppose uh, pattern recognition locks or the locks which have passwords uh, there in there there is a hardware code uh, hardware built in such a way that it recognizes the password that you provide and in, for any other password that lock will not be open and that password for uh, that password of that lock will follow uh, will be built following this type of state diagram this is one example a lot of other examples are there uh, internals of many hardware and softwares are actually working on basis of finer state machines now we look at another pattern recognition problem in order to uh, strengthen our idea of uh, uh, 
of state diagrams and pattern uh, state diagrams. So here the problem statement is the same and consecutive four values means the uh, we will be designing a BD system but uh, here the patterns are 1010 and 0010. One thing is to be noted uh, the last three digits of both the patterns are same 0 and 10. So we can actually use it to, for our benefits. How we can do that? At first we know S0 is our reset. So let us look at 1010. So let us move to W is equal to 1 will take us to S1. W is equal to 0 will take us to S2. W is equal to 1 will take us to S3. W is equal to 0 will take us to S4. So the logic here is here we have 1, here we have 1, 0, here 1, 0, 1, here 1, 0, 1, 0. So Z is equal to 1 when present state is equal to S4. S4. Now what happens is uh, let us we have to look at the second pattern over here 0, 0, 1. So if at S0 W is equal to 0 we move to another state S5. From there, what we can do is see 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 0. Last three states are the same. So if we get W is equal to 1 here, here we have 0. If we have W is equal to 1 here, we can move to this state. And sorry, W is equal to 0 here, we can move to this state and we will get the pattern 0, 0. In the next stage, we will get the pattern 0, 0, 1. In the next stage, we will get the pattern 0, 0, 1, 0. So in both cases, uh, in, instead of 4 and 4, instead of uh, S0 to S7, that is instead of using 7 states, we have actually done the calculation using uh, using five state, uh, 6 states uh, instead of 8 states. So here, uh, one path is in, in this direction, uh, from S0 to S1 to S2 to S3 to S4, and the path is S0 to S5 to S2 to S3 to S4. Now we have just de defined the forward paths. All the other, all the other paths have to be determined. S0 uh, from S0, if W is equal to one, we go to S1. If W is equal to zero, we go to S5. So both the cases for S0 are considered. For S1, if W is equal to zero, we go to S2. But if W is equal to one, we have the pattern one one. So one one pattern. Uh, if we look at the pattern inputs, uh, we do not have one one pattern available. But we can salvage the last one, that is, which is the first, uh, which is the first value of the first pattern. So from S1, if W is equal to one, it moves to S1 itself, and the pattern still remains one. From S2, if W is equal to one, it moves to the condition one zero one S3. If W is equal to zero, it can either be one zero zero because of this forward path, or the case can be zero zero zero. It because of the this forward path. So we can see that the last two zeros can be salvaged because in the second pattern the first two digits are zero. So which one is the zero zero state? This S2 itself is the zero zero state. So if W is equal to zero we move back to S2. Now from S3 we have again two pattern 101 and 001. If from this state if w is equal to 0 we get 1010 or, or 0010 that is we get the output patterns if w is equal to 1 we will get 1011 and 0011 so can we salvage anything can we salvage 1011 no we cannot 011 no we cannot 0 uh, just two ones no we cannot but this single one we can salvage because in the first pattern we have one at the beginning so from S3, if W is equal to 1, we move to stage one, stage 1. Now the next state is S4. From S4, we have pattern 1010 or 0010. If we get 0 in the output, we will get we have two zeros which can be salvaged because we have two zeros in the second input pattern. So the two zeros is actually state two. So we take W is equal to zero from state four will take us to state two. And again, we have one zero one zero or zero zero one zero. If we have one, 
we can see the last three digits are 101. This 101 are the first three digits of the first input pattern. This portion of it. As a result, uh, this 101 is a state 3, so we can move to state 3, that is equal to 1. The only state left is S5, which is a 0 state. So if we get 0, we get to 0, 0 state, S2, no problem. If we get 1, we have 0, 1. From 0, 1, we can salvage the 1 here, and the 1 state is S1. So W is equal to 1, we take it to S1. So this is the overall uh, if we can erase the unnecessary portion of it, this is the overall diagram of uh, uh, diagram, or this is the overall uh, state diagram that will be involved in uh, involved in uh, uh, making this circuit or uh, designing this circuit. Using this state diagram, we can actually design uh, uh, design a pattern recognition machine that can recognize a pattern of one zero one zero or 0010. This is all for finite state machines. I hope uh, the preceding lectures have been useful in understanding what finite state machines is and how state diagrams and finite state machines can be designed. Uh, our VLSI course in, in sir. I hope this has been useful and interesting to you all. Uh, this is the end with our online lectures. I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you so much.